Hello, Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to retrieve metadata from your Salesforce. So in the cloud and bring it down into your local computer, into your VS code. I've already made a video on how to do this with a manifest project, but this time we're going to be not creating a manifest project and using the org browser or some of the CLI commands to pull it down. I'm assuming a few things you've already got your your Salesforce CLI installed, your VS Code and the extensions all set up and your Java is good. If not, definitely check out some of the links that I have in the description for the Salesforce Dev 101 course, which will show you how to get all of that set up the right way. Let's go ahead and create a project, not with manifest, so just a regular project. And once again, it's going to be a standard project. Give it a name, Salesforce Mentor without I guess it's lowercase, right? Without manifest. Let's press enter there. And then let's put this in a nice location for YouTube. Let's create that. Now, the first thing you'll notice if you're used to manifest projects is that there is no manifest folder or package.xml, and that is okay. What we are going to be using is the org browser. But before we jump into the org browser, we'll need to make sure that the org that we want to hook up to, the one that is sending information back to us, is selected. So I'm clicking down here to change my org. You may need to authorize an org, so go ahead and click on the button down here authorize your org, you're gonna to need to log into the Salesforce org that you want to retrieve the metadata from. And for me, I am going to use an existing Trailhead org that I have already authorized to. So now that that is set up, we are able to go to the org browser down here on the left, this little cloud, and it's gonna load up all of the metadata that we have inside of the org. And just for a quick check, let me jump back over and just show you all that there is no metadata already existing inside of any of the folders. So when I go to the org browser, let's pull down some Apex classes. If I jump over into the Apex class section, we'll be able to see all of the classes that we have. And then if I hit this little retrieve this source from org icon, it will download and bring that metadata over into my local machine. And of course I can open it up, make any changes, save it, deploy it, and everything looks good from there. So this is working out great and the org browser is definitely something that you can use to pull all of your metadata. So let's look at the Lightning Web Components. You will have to do a little bit of searching in here and know your alphabet. Let's drop this little cloud in here and it should have pulled all four of these different Lightning Web Components and you can see the output panel also updating the different information that it's pulling. So if we check here in the LWC section, we have all of the different LWCs that we are looking for. Now this is working out great and I generally use the org browser a lot more lately than to either create a project with manifest. You can also use terminal commands to pull these individual values. So for instance, I'm going to copy and paste the terminal command I have in here. So SF project retrieve start dash dash metadata and the type of metadata that you are looking for. So in this instance, if I wanted to pull all of the Apex classes, I would just need to say Apex class and it's going to run a command to pull everything that we have, which is great. We now have all of these values, but it's just a lot easier to use the GUI and the extension to just pull all the values that we have. One other thing I wanna show you about using those commands, I'm gonna go ahead and and delete that value there and jump back into the terminal. And if we wanted to pull one particular metadata file, so I remove the delete me class locally, I'm gonna press enter and that will retrieve just that specific file and bring it back into my local machine. So if you're not trying to pull everything, then just go ahead and try out that command, which is also linked down below. So when I'm working without manifest, I'm generally using the org browser to pull all of the metadata and you can refresh it if you need to. If you're working with a project without manifest, so no package.xml, then you're going to want to either use the org browser or some of the 
the SF commands to pull the metadata that you are looking for. Generally, I just use the org browser because it is very easy to pull that information. Now you may have gotten this to work, but you're also seeing a little error down here in the bottom panel related to Java. And that's pretty common for Salesforce developers because they need to synchronize their Java inside of their VS code. So you can check out this video that I made that goes over the process for getting that cleared up. If this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Walters954 and remember, I believe in you.